So DeWalt Tool, Milwaukee Tool, sort of going back and forth, releasing new products, and we got a couple of them that were just released or announced yesterday. I got one for Milwaukee IA, two from a DeWalt, but here's the thing. There's something new on YouTube. If you're not a subscriber or a member to this channel, this is something new on YouTube. I have no control over it. Okay, you subscribed? You remember? Okay. Let's move it along. All right, as you can see, the Walt is first up. Uh, the Walt released a brand new hammer drill. They have been releasing a whole lot of drills and hammer drills. Okay, I mean, listen, that's fine. More the merrier. You know, it just seems to be a lot. You know, how many drills, hammer drills does one need? Uh, but let's talk about the specs of this. Okay, so over one inch shorter in length uh, than the previous models, I'm guessing, at 6.93. So it's gonna be smaller, a little bit lighter for you. It's weird they call this thing beats per minute. I never heard it called beats per minute. I mean, you can see it right here in the spec area, uh, beats per minute. I, I've always called it bumps per minute. I think everybody else does, but whatever. It's not a big deal. 28,050, which is very respectable. If you look at the Gen 4 Milwaukee IA, I think it's getting like 32, 33,000, yeah, 33,000 blows per minute, bumps per minute beats per minute the no load rpm you're looking at zero to 450 on low and then zero to 1650 and they're saying 404 unit watts out i do like that they mentioned high bit retention you know a lot of times on some of these hammer drills you know the bits when you're going down through your concretage or your cementage whatever it is uh those bits are coming out so they're saying you know the high bit retention is going to hold those bits in there hopefully with a half inch ratcheting chuck and up to 1650 rpms no load drill mode and fyi the weight of this thing only 2.49 pounds so very 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 light and that sweet sweet chuck capacity you're looking at a half inch now i'm just trying to give you a comparison right here if you look at this one right here this is the dewalt it's the uh 796b and you're looking at the bumps per minute half inch rpm 2000 the weight 3.2 pounds so this one's a little bit smaller a little bit less powerful and the price on this one you're looking for tool only 149 you know you can buy the new one in a kit but i'm guessing if you were to buy it tool only the new one um it's hopefully going to be cheaper than this because this one here is just all around a little bit better when it comes to the specs now the new drill driver the model number for that is dcd793 and they're comparing this to well this one right here now this is old school i mean this has been out for years this one here is the uh dcd771 and it's 99 dollars. it comes with a kit you get two bat rays a charger i don't know how the price is for the new one but what they're saying is the new drill driver let me show you that it's supposed to be 16 percent more powerful than this one which i'd hope let me show you a picture of it right here and then i'll just slide it over i got a couple other pictures i'll show you and then we'll move it over to the milwaukee ia 16 percent more power uh than the drill that we showed you and then you get 1650 rpms no load high bit retention with half inch ratcheting chuck more features and what's real nice like about this one is that the weight is only 2.3 pounds and that's the without the bat rate that's the tool only but still i mean very very small and you're getting some good specs on these now the price again i don't have them they're not showing me and i looked everywhere on the internet i'm not finding them yet but this is what's coming, some more drills from DeWalt. Let's move it over to a Milwaukee IA. All right, Milwaukee IA, you can see I have a couple different model numbers right here and the pricing, 229, 259, 109. What is it? Well, Milwaukee IA has been going hard after the trades this first quarter of 2023. A lot of plumbing, HVAC, all that stuff in there. They're sort of staying with that. So what do we got? Well, Milwaukee enhances their diagnostic camera technology with new M Spectre inspection cameras. Now, this is something that I will never bring on the channel just because I'm not a plumber. I'm not good with all that stuff. I mean, I can do your basics, but nope, I leave that up to the pro. So if you're in plumbing, HVAC, maybe, I don't know, would you use this? This is something that might be for you. And it's M12 M Spectre 360 inspection camera. Now it comes with a four inch cable or 10 inch cable. Uh, depending, I think those are the two model numbers there. One's going to cost you, I think, like 250 or whatever it was. Both M12 360 inspection cameras feature a balance between flexibility and rigid 
uh, the camera or the cables are optimized for multiple uses ranging from drain applications to behind wall applications the 32g micro sd card provides file okay so you can save you know your images which is pretty cool you bring that back up you want to put it up on your laptop or whatever you're doing uh, you can save transfer and share photos and videos easily and conveniently so what's cool about this here is you know for what you're getting you're getting a 4.3 LCD screen and a smaller camera head, 180 degree rotation to easily adjust the perspective, easily plug in and export files and quickly. So really for the price, I would imagine that's pretty freaking good, right? I mean, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section, is that a good price? What well, we showed you uh, for this, I'm getting, you can buy these in a the kit as well, but yeah, I mean, M12s, that is pretty freaking awesome from what I'm looking at. So I got a couple pictures for you right here. I'm not gonna play the video because they always put music in the video and, and YouTube always claims my video and that ain't happening, the YouTubeage. All right, so here's your first picture right here. Uh, second, I'm just gonna scroll through. It looks like you got a couple different buttons right there. I don't know what they do. I ain't no plumber. I know that's an on and off button. I can tell you that. M12, Milwaukee High A. Looks like you got a screen protector right there. That's real nice, like. I don't know, you see the camera in the bottom? Oh, the, the, it swivels. Okay, so, you know, you don't have to go like this when you're looking at your pictures, your video. That's cool. Okay, that's pretty neat. Yeah, so HVAC. HVAC's using this. Uh, comes right up on the live feed, it looks like, unless they're playing a video. Oh, that might be the SD card they got going on there. Yeah, the SD card's plugging in. I, you know, does a lot of computers still have SD cards? I, I don't know. I mean, I think they do. I mean, I'm hoping that you could just plug this in digitally like you do your camera. I, I don't think you can, though. It looks like an SD card. Like, just to transfer those files using a, a C cord, like I do with my digital camera. But that's pretty cool. You run that right in there. It looks a little bit smaller. I don't know about the SD card. I would have liked to have seen this thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm missing it. I know you can see it live here. But it would, be, it would be cool if, if it stored that on the SD card and then you can transfer that right into your computer without taking that SD card out. And that's really all I have for the picture wise. You know what? I do have a video for you right here, but I'm going to turn that volume down because you ain't claiming me. All right, here we go. M Spectre 360 Inspection Camera. Uh, both M12. One has a larger cable, longer cable than the other one. And uh, 720p looks like so it's not like 1080 720 which is you know standard definition i believe so i guess that would be good enough for what you're getting with that small camera uh three eighth inch hole yeah that's the usb or no there's no usb it just looks like the sd card so kind of a bummer you know, it would have been cool to just plug that right in like you do with the cameras i do like the swivel screen you can do different things i guess maybe you can zoom in zoom out I don't know, there's a light on there, so you're turning your light on and off. 10-foot cable, 4-foot cable. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I always appreciate that sweet, sweet feedback. And if you want to continue getting these awesome press releases and information brought to you, please don't forget to share this video out, smash that like button, get subscribed. It just helps us because YouTube's not going to push this video out. i got a couple more videos for you right there. We'll be back with more videos soon.